What's your worst winman moment? A friend and I were out one night in Chico. CA which is known for being a huge party town. We were walking to a party when we ran into a group of girls. I started talking to them but I was particularly interested in one of them. She was obviously shy and fairly unsure of my but I won the support of her friends. Pretty soon they were all winging me and she opened up pretty well. We got to the party I split off and gave her her space. We ran into each other a few more time each time she was more affectionate. Night went on and a while later the girl and her friends were getting ready to leave. They didn't want to walk back alone did they asked me and my friend if we would be their boyfriends for the night. We were walking back to their dorm the girl I had been talking to told me she could get me a guest pass at any hour of the night and I could stay with her. Was going perfect until I made some offhand light hearted suggestive comment about sex which got a laugh and went over well until. My jackass friend decided to top it with yeah but you're a man or I tried to play it off with sarcasm with a he are yeah, right. Then he persisted with no. You definitely are a man whore. How many girls in the last month? Like four? Girl shoves moves my arm off of her shoulder walks ahead of me and when we get to their dorm they all wave goodbye. No number. No hug not even a handshake. A fucking wave. Not really a wingman moment. But I was trying to boost my friend's confidence to get him to talk to a girl. Gave him the age old advice of being confident and a slight asshole at the same time. He proceeded to walk up to a beautiful girl and ask her. What's up? Down syndrome face? Needless to say. He didn't have much success that night. Your friend is pretty stupid. Once during pilot training I was on Leeds wing. Doing practice maneuvers and the like. It happened to be around noon. And one of the maneuvers involved relatively high angles of bank. Sure enough. I lost visual contact with lead in the sun during a high G turn. I broke out like we were trained to. But then it took about 10 minutes to get back into formation. 10 minutes is a long time when you only have an hour or so to do all your formation work. And it was a big debrief item for me, Reed. Getting yelled at. And that was my worst wingman moment. My wingman blew it for me once. Freshman year of college. We went to a party in our dorm, the floor below. The girl who was running the party I had a crush on and wanted to hook up with. Her clingy best friend was there and my friend was supposed to keep her occupied, just by talking to her or whatever, while I flirted with the roommate. It was working out great and by the end of the night it was just me. The girl I liked. My roommate. And the clingy girl left at the party. Clingy girl left. My roommate goes okay by and proceeds to stay in the room with us. Even after 2 hours of subtle hits to him he stayed in the room. Eventually it hit 3am and she could sense that he wasn't going to leave and heads to bed. We both leave. I don't know if this is a worst wingman moment but I was in a New Year's Eve party at the beach and my cousin and I were walking all over the place looking for girls. I remember me being extremely drunk. The next day he tells me. Clear you are the best dumbest wingman ever. He tells me that I was making out with a girl, I don't remember any of this, and suddenly I turn around and he's standing next to me. I ask him. You don't have a girl? He says no. Then I said well if you don't have one me neither. And that's when I pushed the girl aside and walked away. My friend Drew and I were at a party and he had mentioned he was interested in a certain female there. I proceeded to get far too intoxicated to keep my voice at a reasonable volume and shouted dude. Get her number. You could totally make out tonight. With her about 3 feet away. I felt pretty bad about that but he returned the favor when a night that was supposed to be a group of friends going out for swing dancing ended up with just Drew. The girl I liked. And myself. Last time Drew had gone dancing was apparently with his ex and this made him sad so he spent the whole time sitting at the table with us when we weren't dancing. Her and I didn't get any time to talk alone because of this. She asked if it was a date and if it was why I brought my awkward support buddy along. Next time we hung out was at my birthday party where everyone but him left around the same time. He was not getting the hint to leave and was just really awkward the whole time. We're bad wingmen. I'm almost positive the person I'm talking about will read this. Fuck it. 
I was at a bar with some fellow redditors about a month ago. Noticed two rather gorgeous women at the table across us. So I informed the group that I was heading over. I introduced myself with a smile. And eventually they loosened up and we were sharing laughs. Everything was going perfect. Eventually a friend came over and started a conversation with the girl I wasn't all too interested in. Leaving me chatting with a lovely brunette. Q third guy from the group. He sits down in a drunken stupor and introduces himself loudly. It was pretty funny. The women laughed a bit. And then out of nowhere. We're from Reddit. Internet. From that moment on. The women were laughing blatantly at us and told us how they're totally into memes and cat pictures. Fuck that night. It was pretty hilarious though. 10 stroke 10 would get cock blocked again. Asterisk. The icing on the cake. There was when he asked the women have you seen my beach ball? It's about this big flexes muscles. My favorite bar was shutting down. I practically lived there. My buddy and I were getting loaded. More so than we usually did. He's getting all white girl drunk. This cute hippie chick with huge personalities walks up to me. Introduces herself and say everyone says you're a great guy. My friend turns to her and screams I'm talking to him go away. Dot. I turn to tell him to fuck off and then she's gone. I still give him massive amounts of shit for this. My buddy and I are at this kick-ass piano bar in downtown SD. I'm 27 at the time and he is 23. We spot two extremely hot girls alone fending off drunken attempts by several other groups of guys. My buddy starts talking to them and we are in. Everything is going great until my buddy has to use the restroom. One of the girls went as well leaving me alone with the other. We are getting along fine and then she asks my age. I tell her casually 27 without thinking much of it. Her friend comes back before my buddy. They exchange a few looks comments and as my buddy walks back up they are in the middle of fleeing the scene. He is furious and asking WTF I did. BTW you had to be 21 to get into this place. TL. DR being 27 scared off chicks in a 21 and up bar. I was at a party with a mate who has had a dry patch for a good 2-3 years. He is smart. Pretty good looking. Well off and buff. But just lacks confidence. He is talking to this girl for well over 2 hours though but I need to go and he is my driver so I write down his number on a card and hand it to her and tell them they can continue this later. She never calls. Thing is my head writing is pretty bad normally and I was fairly drunk so it is more than likely she couldn't make out the number. Open bracket. I'm a girl. I tried wingmaning for my SAP friend in college. I found a very attractive blonde girl. Chatted her up. Introduced her to my friend. And smoothly absented myself to get get another beer. I waited 20 minutes and popped back over to see how things are going. Turns out they spent the last 20 minutes talking about me. And the girl was quite keen on me. Well. I thought. Screw it. Clearly my buddy isn't going to get anywhere with this girl. So. I did. We ended up messing around in the bar bathroom together. Because I am a shitty. Selfish person. Dot. Worth it. I had an alcoholic roommate. The kind that gets emotional and clingy when he's drunk. My place. Cute Iranian chick. The friend she is with is a lesbian. He entertains the lesbian outside while I commence hooking up on the pool table. He brings his drink outside whilst doing so. Turns out the lesbian is quite the intellectual. And mind arousing. Comes back and shit faced. He goes upstairs. Lesbian passes out on couch close to us. Commence the quiet hookup. 20 minutes later I'm on the verge of fucking. I hear this dragging sound on the ground below us. What the fuck? I look under. He's army crawling shit faced with his drink and looks up with glazes eyes. And says, my name, I just love you man. He goes back and forth to his room at least three times while I'm still trying to hook up with this girl. Silently mind you. Then passes out in his own vomit come 6am. After hours of blue balls. It was going well that night. Even the chick I had to wingman for was pretty cool but she made it perfectly clear that nothing was going to happen. 
I go to the bar for a round of drinks and run into a college slam piece. Turns out she's in town for one night and it's her first business trip. She's super excited cause her company got her a nice room overlooking downtown and how awesome would it be to fuck while looking at the downtown. And we left the bar. Fuck like champs and got room service the next morning. So. It worked out well for me. But my buddy got no action that night. My friend told me that he was about to hang out with this really cute girl and her friend so he invited me along specifically to Wingman. I wasn't too excited at the prospect but because I care for my friend and understand the duties of wingmanship. I agreed. However. The two girls names got mixed up during the introduction so I spent the entire night hitting on the wrong girl. I kept getting confused as to why my friend was purposely not sitting next to the girl he had been talking about so I would sit in between him and the girl he actually liked. Thinking that she was just the friend. TL. DR. Got introductions mixed up. Spent the entire night hitting on wrong girl cock blocking my friend. I hope this doesn't get buried. At a club with a group of friends. My one friend and I decide to hit the dance floor with our drinks. He sees a couple of girls and decides we should dance with them. I told him to pick which one he wanted. As any good wingman would do. We go over there. Dance as a group then I take the girl that he didn't want. And I start dancing with her. Now I attempt to strike up a conversation. Yeah never know could get lucky too. Well she doesn't reply to me and I'm thinking the music is too loud anyways. I try to talk to her again. This time louder. Still no response. So I say fuck it. Just dance. At the end of the song the girl dancing with my friend sees this. Laughs at me and comes over and tells me this girl is deaf. My cousin brought me along to be his wingman. Basically. He liked a girl who was a friend of another female friend of his. To get her on a date. He invited his female friend and told her to invite her friend. He then invited me to keep his female friend occupied while he tried to pick up her friend. I did exactly as told. I had his friend go on a walk with me outside the bar so he could have some alone time with the other girl. They did not hit it off. But on the way home I sat in the back seat with his friend and left the other girl up front with my cousin. We stopped for gas and that is when shit got weird. New girl changes to the back seat and now I am in a seat with one girl on each side. They are both hitting on me and grabbing at my junk and such. I am trying to be subtle and push them away. But was more or less living out the beginnings of every man's fantasy. End of the night we drop them off. He never tried with that girl again. I failed my wingman duties. Had alcoholic roommate. My buddy has gone wailing in the empty room next to us with some slut. Me. Alcoholic roommate and his brother. All drunk. She's hideous. Drunk roommate gets the idea that we should all get naked and see whose dick she wants to suck first. So we do. Of course. The friend kicks us out twice. On the third time he comes out and yells at us. Slaps me. Same slap happens to hit drunk roommate's little brother, and he's protective. Comma commence drunk brawl in living room. Four drunk naked dudes and a naked fat chick screaming what the fuck is going on. Big brother and the whale are both bleeding. So tired, both smokers, commence vomiting on floor. Smell of blood. Vomit and whale vagina permeating the room. I throw up from the smell. And liquor. No safe place to sleep. Friends vomited on clothes. Drive home naked and drunk. I was living in Iowa City with a couple of other guys. A girlfriend came into town and I took the other roommate out to the bars on the ped mall. The third or fourth place was alive. We broke company. I started making time with a girl. Bought her a couple of drinks. My roommate comes up to me and says we have to go. Comma. I figured he had picked a fight and somebody was coming to kick his ass. So I excuse myself and we bolt. Halfway across the ped mall I asked him what happened. He told me some guy called him sir and asked for the time and he felt old. I was livid. He moved out a few months later and nobody has heard from him again. Although his story is well known. Irish guy here. Two American girls start chatting to a friend of mine. Let's call him James. While we were in a bar in town one night. 
both were really hot and they seemed to be getting on quite well with jeans so I assumed they all knew each other. I was having a conversation with a female friend of mine a few meters away from James. Telling her a story of something that happened to me a few days before. Mid conversation. James comes over and introduces the two girls to me. So. Being the smooth operator that I am reply with yeah. Who are they? Dot. At which point I get a confused look from James and he explains that he just met them. They were nice etc. Me. Still not understanding what was going on. Said cool. I then proceeded to turn back to my female friend and continue my story. The girl I was talking actually explained what just happened. I've never been his wingman since. My buddy dragged me over to a couple of girls at the bar and bought them both drinks. Started chatting. Got me chatting with them. Things were going well. Until he turned to me and loudly declared you got the Asian. Which both girls heard. The Asian one replied so that means you get the white girl? Dot. At this point I clapped my hands together once. Picked up my beer. Told them it was a pleasure making their acquaintance. And walked back to the other side of the bar. My buddy bought them a couple more drinks and spent a few minutes apologizing and trying to fix the situation. They eventually accepted his apology and went their separate ways. I later puked on the toilet. But that's not really relevant to the story or unusual. My friend wanted to hook up with this Asian chick at our college so I decide to invite the two of them to a bar so we can get drunk and he can get to know her. Mind you I am completely not interested in the type of girl that she is. Fast forward a couple of pictures and some shooters. We head back home and while I was driving. The two were making out pretty intense in the backseat so I thought to myself I'm such a great wingman. When I drop them off at my friend's place. She acts drunk and does not want to leave the car. After a while my friend said fuck it and headed home pretty disappointed. She then tells me she wants to sleep at my place so I couldn't leave her out in the streets and she lives pretty far away. So we get to my place and I get ready to sleep when she suddenly jumps into my bed and act drunk and stupid and wants to sleep there. I thought fuck this shit I'm still sleeping here. When I was half asleep. She grabs my hand and proceeds to put it on her vajayj. By this point I am semi hangover. Semi sleepy and this chick wants the fuck. I then fuck the shit out of her. Moral of the story. Do not drink and drive. Last Halloween. My friend and I decided to go out. We ended up hitting it off with a group of women. But I ended up having a few too many. Later. When the girl he was going after pulls out her phone. And before he can give her his number I burst in and shout out my number. She puts it in her phone and before my friend can say anything she's gone. Still haven't heard the end of that. And I'm pretty sure I deserve it. My buddy across the hall had a few people over drinking in his dorm room. Things dwindle down. And it's just him. Me. And this girl who really wants to hook up with him. He gets a text from one of his regular hookups who lives pretty close by. And he pulls me aside and says. Conchamea. I'm going to do something awesome. Something unprecedented. I'm going to go hook up with, regular hookup. And while I'm doing that. I want you to keep, girl, here busy. I'm going to tell her I'm going out to get more beer. And when I come back from, regular hookup, s place. I'm going to fuck her. Double quote. I said sure thing. And spent the next 30 minutes helping this girl with a crossword puzzle. I get a text from my girlfriend asking if she can come over. I text back yeah start walking. I'm in a weird situation and I just have to take care of one thing. Double quote. I grab one of my buddy's suitamates. Explain the situation and how I need him to look after her while I go have sex with my girlfriend. He readily agrees. My buddy walks back to his room an hour after he left. Six pack of beer in his hand. And finds his suitamate having sex with the girl in his, I, E, my buddy's, bed. TL. Dr. Cock blocked my friend from having doing the no pants dance twice in one night with two different girls and forced him to do laundry. Got another friend laid in the process. My brother and I carpooled to a wedding. A chick at the wedding. No. Not the bride. 
took a liking to me and invited me to stay at her place since I didn't have to work in the morning. My brother interrupted. No. We've gotta get back home tonight. I replied. No. We don't. Double quote. He explained that if we didn't leave at that moment, he would miss the latest episode of The Good Wife. The girl offered to drive me home the following morning. But then my brother pointed out that it was a 3 hour drive. Each way. She said she didn't care. She just wanted to spend more time with me. My brother asked. Have you ever driven that far? Before? Double quote. The worst part is. My brother and I are roommates. And the first three house rules are. Don't cock block. Don't cock block. And don't cock block. Double quote. The one time I tried to be a buddy's wingman I blew it. About about 10 years ago we were invited to this big party in some abandoned building. The place was packed. There were kegs. And one dollar shot bar set up. I spent most of the night walking around just enjoying myself when I noticed my SAP friend, John, talking to a very attractive girl. I walk on over to them to try talk up my friend, and get his brother away from them. And she tells my friend he wants him to buy her a shot. Now I might not be a expert here. But when an attractive flirty girl wants you to buy her a one dollar shot. You buy her the fucking shot. He starts hemming and hawing and about it so I offer to buy them all shots. Giving John two dollars out of my pocket would make him look cheap and broke so I was just trying to be the fun friend. I did not want to stand in that long ass line by myself though so I asked them to join me. John didn't want to. And said he'll wait there with his brother. So this girl joins me in line and we start talking for the next 20 minutes. I guess when I'm drunk I'm pretty funny and charming and she brings me upstairs to her room and starts making out with me. A while later my buddy finds me up there with her because he wanted to go home. To this day he gives me shit for dipping in his coffee. Fuck that shit. He handed me his coffee and I took a sip before it got cold. I was invited to an amusement park by my best friend. His girlfriend had suggested that I go because I'm funny and people really enjoy hanging out with me. That's what I do anyways. Turns out my buddy's girlfriend invited her distant friend who resembled a stack of tires with a cigarette hanging off of her lips. We left pretty early in the morning and Donald Jabba the Hutt demands Waffle House before we even left the driveway. She gets a fill of free pancakes. On my dime. And proceeds to engage everyone in conversation about her recent breakup. She cried almost the entire car ride to the park. Fast forward 12 hours and it's late. We ride one last coaster after dinner and she hurls chili cheese fries all over the place immediately after we get off the ride. To cap the night off she wanted to kiss me. On the mouth. I still have nightmares. That was 15 years ago. This one was not at all my fault but probably one of the funniest things to ever happen to me. So about a year ago my friend and I got dragged by a few girls from class to this shitty country bar line dancing club. I'm hanging out with them in the general vicinity of the dance floor and a girl taps me on the shoulder and asks if I want to dance. I'm not single so I tell her I'm taken and she moves on. Not 10 minutes later another girl taps me on the shoulder and asks the same thing. I assume I stand out because I'm one of the only guys there not wearing a John Deere hat and a plaid shirt tucked into my jeans. I tell her I'm taken and she leaves me alone. My buddy with me, who was also bored as hell, was single at the time so I decide to try and send someone his way if any other girls want to dance with me. Sure enough another girl taps me on the shoulder and I begin the sentence hey, I'm taken. But you should talk to my friend over here unfortunately my friend only hears me say I'm taken. Comma. Sees me point to him. And he gets the wrong idea. Before I finish the sentence he immediately puts his arm around me and says in the most stereotypically gay voice possible oh. I'm sorry honey. He's with me. The girl just stares blankly at us for a few seconds and goes good for you guys. Totally buying it. My only regret is that we doubled over laughing before the girl even turned around. Edit. Grammar. I'm so late to this party but here it goes. This one night I was high and drunk as balls. My old roommate's brother was this desperate freshman kid who kept asking me to hook him up with a girl. I was senior by then. 
I felt bad for the kid because I was inebriated as fuck and couldn't talk to any girl for him. Plus I didn't know that many people at the place. So I'll let him hit on my GF. She obviously turned him down. I pretended to not be aware of his moves. He didn't know that she was my GF. I patted his back later and my GF explained to me how this young kid had the worst pickup moves ever. He came off really rappy. I was one swing remaining for my friend in a club. It was all going well. He was talking to a pretty girl I'd managed to snag for him and I was making my exit when a creepy guy came up to me. He was hitting on me really badly and trying to force me to dance with him despite me telling him no and it was getting to the point where it was unpleasant. I needed to get him away but the only way I could think to do it was by grabbing my friend and exclaiming. Leave Emmy alone. Fucker. This is my dad. Apostrophe. My friend is actually younger than me but could pass for a few years older than his age and I have a bit of a baby face. So. Though unlikely. You could believe he was my father if he'd had me at 12 or 13. Thankfully this scared off the creep. But the girl was horrified. Made a new sound and tottered away. After that everyone in the surrounding area who had witnessed the incident avoided our creepy father-daughter duo like the plague. Thankfully I made it up to him the following week and found him some very nice laddie woman. A favorite story of mine from college. A couple of buddies and me went to a Halloween party at a buddy's rat house. We all get there and kinda split up as it was a pretty big house. About an hour later I'm wandering around and a girl I've met a few times before runs up to me and tells me they're starting a game of alligator dentist in someone's bedroom. So who's passing that up? No one. I walk into the room and my buddy. We'll call him Fred. Isn't there with a smockin' hot blonde in a sexy bee costume. So. It's me. Fred. Bumblebee. And this other girl drunk in this room. Well. Turns out the girls would play alligator dentist such that. If you lost. You had to kiss one of the other players. Now at the time both Fred and I are in long term. Long distance relationships and this bumblebee chick is just so obviously ready to fuck his brains out. He goes and the alligator snaps shut on his hand and he just looks at me with a look of sheer horror. We both knew that in order for this situation to not escalate into an orgy. He was gonna have to kiss me. Thankfully he was sober enough to kiss me on the cheek. So I realize. At this point. I've got to stop him from beefing this chick so what do I do? I ripped the nastiest silent but deadly fart fueled by a nachos bel grand you've ever smelled. Took about 30 seconds for the chicks to dip out. Fred was out of there faster than a fat kid in dodgeball. I catch up to him outside and he just grabs me by the shoulders and thanks me profusely for shitting my pants. Him and that same girlfriend got married a few months ago. Came home from work. My roommate was at the computer helping some hot girl with her homework. I knew who she was. And knew she was single. And had no idea how he got her home. But good for him. Unfortunately. The guy was a slob and his shit was everywhere. But I didn't miss a beat. Hey man. I didn't know you'd be bringing anyone over. Or I would have cleaned up my mess. Double quote. He comes back with what are you talking about? Double quote. All this shit here. I wouldn't want her to think this is your fault. Double quote. It is my fault. This is all my stuff. What are you talking about? Double quote. I looked her right in the eye and said. Well. I tried. You saw it. Turned around and left. I could hear her laughing on my way out the door. This is my buddy's wingman story. I, for the first time in my life, was picked up by a girl at a bar. I was at the bar with my buddy. And these two girls were there. He and I went back to her house in the middle of nowhere with her and her friend. She had a pool. We had been doing shots all night. Naked pool time. So I ended up upstairs for the night with the girl. My friend stayed in the pool with her friend. She was heavier. But very cute. They are making out and she starts all this nervous chatter about how she looks fat. He says don't worry about it. And continues to kiss her. He wasn't exactly a model himself. Comma she takes that as him calling her fat and begins to get loud. He says. Okay then. 
we don't have to make out drunk and naked in a pool and swims away. She starts pining for his attention. But his buzz has been stabbed and is bleeding out towards death. She starts yelling at him. He gets out of the pool. She continues to run her mouth and he mutters that she has something wrong with her. She says. Oh yeah? Well you're nothing but a fucking wingman. Double quote. He laughed. And proceeded to walk 10 miles back to civilization. To be picked up by a girl that liked him at 4am. He got laid that night. I didn't. I was at a party with a friend once and he wanted to go over and talk to a girl but he wanted me to wingman because she was talking to her friends. While we were all talking. The girl that he was interested in lost interest and walked away. The two. Quite hot. I might add. Friends stayed with me and I spent the rest of the evening with them. My friend just walked away awkwardly and ate food alone the whole evening. I feel kinda bad. Not really. I was wingmaning for a friend of mine recently after he broke up with his girlfriend. We were at the bar. And I had managed to get him into a conversation with a lovely girl. Unfortunately. He was far too drunk. And while he was standing in line at the bar he leaned forward and threw up all over his own shoes. He immediately sprinted for the exit. I was going to follow. But I knew our house was only a couple blocks away and I knew that he would make it. I wound up taking the girl home myself. I was friends with this really great guy. And he'd been single for a while and was fairly shy quiet. So I decided to help him out. One night. We went to Applebee's for dinner. And I left his number for the waitress. But it was him. My two kids. And myself. I realized after we left what it probably looked like to the waitress. We both laughed. Though. I tried to set him up with every single female friend I had. They'd meet him. Hang out with him. And then tell me. He's great. But it's not going to go anywhere. I figured I had stupid friends. Well. One day. One of them breaks it down for me the reason no one wanted to go for him is that. To him. They'd always be second to me. I figured I had crackhead friends. Until one night. One thing led to another three months later. We moved in together. And a year later we got married. TL. DR a foot massage will get you laid. I took my male friend to a gay bar with me to check it out and hit on the straight girls that come there to just dance. Usually they like that even though they are at this place where no one should be supposedly interested in them at the bar. This sensitive straight guy is there. It doesn't hurt that both have been drinking. Anyway. We approach this group of girls and I put on the love your shoes plus here's my straight friend who came out to support me but now wants to dance with someone routine. Instead of being flirtatious and jovial he starts going on and on about his mother. Needless to say. They promptly walked away. Being a wingman is tough work sometimes. Side note. For those who question or are skeptical of girls in gay clubs. Look in the comments for one that I posted. This actually happened just last weekend at an adult beverage festival. Taking a photo of two friends wearing ridiculous hats when two girls photobomb us. The thing about girls photobombing is that if they are cute they are merely just accepted into the photo lovingly. But I digress. Photos over and hats removed they starting chatting my friend and I up. The two were cute. Slightly inebriated and flirting heavily so clearly the right thing to do was attack. However I honestly wasn't feeling it. Our other friends left us and being the stand up guy I am I continue conversing one of them while my friend is clearly hitting it off with the other. This goes on for what felt like I should have been drinking but finally we broke away with the girls promising to find us later. So I asked my friend if he got her number. He replied that he hadn't bother and asked the same back. At this point we had a man moment and we both realized we were being the wingman for the other but neither of us were interested. That's friendship. TL. DR. We both thought we were the other's wingman. In college my roommate befriended a little cutie from Minnesota in his biology class. She would come to our dorm with an open floor plan no privacy, to study. It was obvious my roommate wanted to smash. We commenced to come up with a plan to do so. He and I decided we'd invite her and others to our dorm to drink. 
and see if he could manage to find his way back to her dorm to crush it after things winded down. Things go well. We all drink a lot I think the six of us killed three cases of Natty. Our neighbors leave our dorm. Leaving only my roommate. The girl. And myself. I was very drunk I quickly passed out. My roommate decided to roll the dice and attempt to have sex with this girl a mere 5 feet away from me. I woke up at maybe 3am to right make thumping of a bed frame. Though shaken, I was facing them. I played it cool and feigned sleep until he could wrap things up. I'm proud I didn't alert them of my consciousness. It's never okay to cock block.